Hi, I'm CJ and this is my RC channel. In this video, I'm going to be discussing and showing you how I modified the stock power supply unit to have a much quieter fan. I've been familiar with Noctua fans for quite a while. I've used them in my last three graphics workstations, gaming PCs, and really like them. They are very, very quiet. Uh, they've definitely spent a lot of time doing airflow analysis and such beyond just making quieter motors. I used a cover that I printed off of code from someone else's work uh, that I found on Thingiverse. I thought it was a very nice job. I had looked at several different covers. Um, I liked the way this one was designed. I also liked the vents that were in it because I wanted some air ventilation to cool the buck converter that I was going to need to use. To my knowledge, I hadn't noticed anyone really addressing the issue of voltage. The Ender 3s run on 24 volts and PCs run on 12 for this type of peripheral. So the fan is designed for 12 volts. 24 volts, the motor is running extremely fast, doesn't burn it out immediately, but you're not getting any reduction in sound. In fact, it's probably louder than the stock fan running at 24 volts, and it will certainly burn it out in no time. Also, it is a three wire fan. It has the third wire for signal for adjusting fan speed again because these are designed for computer applications so you can basically ignore the signal wire use the black and red wire as ground and positive and the fan will spin at max revolutions for whatever voltage you give it the addition of a cover is necessary to use this fan because it's a taller fan so it would not fit inside the standard enclosure. Now, where to put the buck converter? That was the real problem. The case that I have designed is specific to this type of buck converter. That is the LM2596S. It will not work with anything else. The holes are specifically designed to allow access to the adjuster screw, the micro switch, and the LED display. And personally, I like having the LED display. Um, if this was something that, you know, was going to be hidden inside, uh, you know, a l much larger uh, contraption, I would probably go with something smaller, you know, and then set the voltage where I needed it, and you don't have to worry about it again. Uh, I just thought it would look nice having the uh, LED display on the side of the machine. Anyway, that's the direction I went. So if you want to use my case, that's the buck converter you need to purchase. You can find them on Amazon. There's probably other places you can find them. The buck converter screws into the case and then the case screws onto the larger cover for the power supply. And I positioned it so that it covers the vent holes that are on there so that air is pushed into the buck converter, giving it some cooling. Now, that is not an issue, in my opinion, as far as cooling for the overall mechanism, because the bottom of it is open, and there are no such vents on the original aluminum cover plate. So those are added extra, and while it will flow some air into the buck converter, the majority of the air is going to flow out the bottom of the power supply. So that's not an issue in my opinion. The basic process is taking off the original cover, fitting the new one. I would do that first, get a trial fit going. I had to adjust a couple of the screw holes a little bit. Uh, things didn't line up 100%, but I was able to get it squared up and using different types of screws, I was able to get it anchored. The stock screws did not work for all four of the holes. Remove the standard fan, attach your new fan, you may need a little extra wire to have enough lead to get from the bottom of the power supply where the uh, power connections are. Make sure that you read carefully on those and that you're getting uh, a positive and a negative of the 
24 volt outputs. Drill two holes to run the wires through that faceplate to the butt converter and then back out from the butt converter to the fan. Get everything attached, power it up, use a small screwdriver to adjust the current until the LED reads 12 volt and you're set, you're good to go. You pretty much never need to touch it again. I'm very pleased with it. It's certainly much quieter than the standard power supply. And at 12 volts, it seems to be putting out more air than the original fan. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. Please click like, please subscribe when you go on to Thingverse. Please click like on my design if you decide to use it and you're happy with it. Thank you for watching.